Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and um, this video I, I just want to do as a quick kind of catch up with you all about the kind of things which I received in the post and some little projects I'm working on. And I would want to know in the comments below what things are you working on? What what have you ha got recently? I, I'm just really interested to know from everyone in the community how they've been getting on recently. Okay, so the first thing is a, a surprise present from John Eggington. Um, and uh, where, where to start? Let's leave the 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 most awesome thing to last. Um, not to say that these locks aren't awesome. So he sent. Um, clearly, John's got a sense of humour. Look at this. This is a um, a GGP extra. I just don't even know where to begin to to think about picking this. Um, I think he must have got me confused with a lock picking lawyer or something. Uh, but you know, hey, I suppose the only lock that uh, is guaranteed never to open is one which you've never tried picking. Um, but an awesome, awesome, a beautiful GG there. So thank you, John. Um, he also sent me, maybe it's a Mercy lock, um, this lovely Bassy dimple lock. Now these can be tricky, but um, I don't think it's anything near on, as on par as this GG. So that's kind of a cool lock to have. And last but definitely not least is this awesome toxic green G10 scaled um, lock pick with an, a beautiful mirror finish, completely full tang all the way through. It it's it's sort of just really strong stuff. This I, I don't know how to describe it. It just feels tough, you know. Um, just beautiful. And it's made from some uh, Law Lock Tools um, 0.6 millimeter steel uh, and. The steel from Law Lock Tools is really, really high quality steel. So um, let's just pick this old mass lock just to get it. There you go. One, two, three, and we're open. <laughs> Four pins, only three of them need picking. But yeah, just really nice, really good feedback through this uh, G10 material. And I love that toxic green. Okay, what else? Well, Nick from Gas Lock and Key sent me not the SO lock, um, which hopefully you'll have seen in a recent video, but uh, via Acme Locks, is it Acme? Acme Locks and Keys in Canterbury um, sent me this blank, which actually fits this lock. So an upcoming project for me and maybe a video, let's face it, if <laughs> it'll only be a video if I can get it to work, is me trying to impression uh, a key for this really amazing and collectible so Yale padlock. So that's really kind of you, Nick. Thank you very much, and thank you from uh, thank you to Acme Locks as well. A cool shout out to Sponge um, for being really awesome and sending me this. <laughs> well, for me, borderline Im uh, impossible to pick lock. Look at this amazing Dom. You've seen that keyway, isn't that? That's a great keyway. I reckon a thin enough pick though probably 10 to 12 thousandths should be able to get in there, but I'm really worried about this last pin here, especially considering the pin before it. That's gonna take some serious, serious skill to pick, and I'm not sure if I've got that. But yeah, what a beautiful lock. Just, just great. Really, really nice. So thank you so much, Sponge, for sending that. And lastly, this was a, uh, a little weekend project. Um, this is a double-sided, uh, dimple pick. You see I've got my uh, left and right hand flags and you'll see that the finish on that flag I hope you see is really really pretty nice considering they start out like this. So this is from one of those Chinese sets and there's nothing wrong with them to be perfectly honest with you but they do need little finishing off. In fact I've got a little compilation video to show you how I took this mono connector. This is actually like a guitar connector. I did a video on it. I might link to it uh, previously but I, I just um, thought I'd do a second one since I had two of these mono connectors and um, they just make great double-sided uh, dimple flag pick things. Um, so yeah, it does take a, a, a little bit of work. So go have a look at this little clip.
so there you go thank you again to John Eggington Nick from Gaslock and Key Sponge Acme Locks and Keys um, all of you for watching here are my kind of little mini projects to get on with and um, and those are some uh, brilliant little uh, gifts that people sent me hope you all have a fantastic week please let me know in the comments what you've been up to and what you got in the post recently be really interested to know all right i'll see you all next time